What up everyone, uh, Zonomar here coming at you with a new live and I hope you guys can hear me because I don't have my earphones right now but we'll see how this goes. Right now I want to talk about uh, Riot Games report about the World Championship uh, finals um, that happened a few months ago uh, all over the US, uh, San Francisco, Chicago, LA and the finals uh, won by SKTT1 and the Staple Standard. Uh, so, I want to talk about the report because, well, the results are definitely high. Uh, they went from 36 million um, views to, like, unique views. They went from 36 million in 2015 to uh, 43 million this year, which is a very high growth, but less than the growth from 2014 to 2015. Uh, and basically the peak concurrent viewership grew from 14 million to 14.7 million which is a good a good a good uh, jump but still lower than the, the the jump from the past year uh, and blah 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 uh, f uh, an average of 5.4 million views according to the release of BBC we peaked at 6.9 million viewers which is absolutely insane for esports uh, and overall, it was it was an amazing event. It was the longest word in history with like 256 minutes of content, which I want to talk about because I think it's a lot. It's a lot to ask. Uh, so the words was like uh, there was like live performance uh, with uh, Zed that did some stuff, uh, which required a lot of equipment. Blah blah blah. It was a whole show, and overall the event went really well. So let's go through the data. I have my computer right here, um, right here actually, and let's go over everything. So the first one is 49 hours of total game time, which I think is absolutely insane when you think about it. 49 hours of gameplay over uh, 15 days of competition is for me. Uh, for me, something very, very big. Something very big. Uh, and this is really something I want to debate again in another video, or maybe on another live. But I think that we have we are having too much content, which can explain the slowing down of the growth from one year to another, uh, etc., etc. Uh, the other one is 370 total hours uh, of live esports view. I mean, this is divided in so many different live streams, etc., etc. So we don't have to go over this. It's bigger than last year. That's all that matters. Uh, 180k uh, minion farm, blah, blah, blah. 300 dragon slay. Uh, sneaky best CSR. One perfect words peak M. That's really impressive out of 2 million uh, players. Four support MF. We don't care about that. 396 million total cumulative daily unique impression, which is for me very surprising since I feel like. So, this is a really good number, but I still think that World Championship, when it comes to. So, I feel like it goes like that. Like, at the start of the World Championship, you have the hype of it. Like, it's the World Championship. It's very hyping. You all. Everyone is very hyped. And everyone wants to like watch it and stuff. And then you're like, okay, like there's so much game going on. I don't want to watch everything. Uh, and then it goes down. And it goes down. And then when you get to the group stage, uh, when you leave the group stage and you go to the quarterfinals, to the semifinals, and the finals, obviously, the views and the interest for League of Legends starts to go up a little bit. And this is really when we see the real show, the real words that we're talking about. So 23 broadcasts in. 18 different language, which is, I think, going up from last year. We have more and more language. You know, guys, I used to work in a French studio, and they sh they shotcasted it in French, uh, as as I used to do, uh, I think it was last year or two years ago that I did the World Championship, uh, and it was really uh, insane. And we get more money now with uh, the cash price. So cash price is also something we want to talk about, right? Because a lot of people are comparing uh, League of Legends to, Do to Dota because they're both MOBAs. One came after the other. Some people that used to work at Dota 2 now work for Riot, etc., etc. There's a whole like, there's a whole war like the same thing with console and P uh, and cons uh, and PC gaming. The same thing with Xbox and PS4, iPhone, Android. Uh, the war between League of Legends and Dota has been going on. Uh, I respect both games for what they are. I think Dota 2 is amazing. I think League of Legends is great. Uh, but the price pool is very very low, and this is also something we can talk about. So $6.7 million went to the teams, 
3 million are fine contributed price pool by uh, I'm not sure how they did that again but it doesn't matter 2.1 original price pool so that's from right gains money straight up and 1.6 million team icon share so that's when you bought the team icon in the game to support your team basically um, Riot was giving them a share to support them financially and do their stuff so the fight the, the final the finals had five games uh, the, the finals had five games which was amazing to be honest well SKT won uh, it's not a spoil anymore I feel like we've talked about this very much uh, five games explosive game SKT T1 winning the third time uh, third like third time title uh, not consecutive I was about to say consecutive but not Faker being the god that he is it was insane um, peak conquering viewership and unique viewers okay so something is interesting is that they're not uh, and I think I saw that uh, on the Daily Dot, is that they're not posting anything related to average viewer. So they're talking about, we're talking about PCU, which means peak concurrent viewer. Uh, we're talking about UV, which is unique viewer. We're talking about, um, we're talking about hours of live viewed, but we're not talking about average viewers, which is very interesting. I feel like, not saying that Riot is trying to hide this from us, but I still think that this 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 would have been a very interesting data. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy for Riot Games that they've done that. I'm actually liking this for me, you know, guys. Like, I, I look I look like Ty Lopez right now with all those books behind me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, I I think that there's definitely a like I think the slow in growth from. The slowing growth from uh, esports in League of Legends is normal. I think that the hype, the hype went very, very, very fast, and that everyone got into it. And now people are just discovering new games. They are used to watching uh, CS, uh, not CS:GO, League of Legends. Sorry. Um, and overall, they have expectations. It's not something new anymore. So what they do is that. They know what match to view. They know that SKT is gonna be a good match. They know that the uh, the wild cards is not gonna be a, as high level as they want it to be. Uh, they know that you're up against NA when you have like a TSM unicorns of love. It's something that you want to look for because it's it's in a very interesting piece of content, etc., etc. Uh, so I feel people are trying. Now that people know a little bit more about esports, they're trying to be a little bit more picky uh, when it comes to the content they want to watch, and that overall, it's still growing, and that's the only thing we should care about. Right now, it's not slowing down to a point where we have to worry about the industry, worry about League of Legends, and where Red Game has to be like, okay, we need to do something. I think there's a lot to change in the in the in the venue. I think there's a lot of change in the venue in terms of the format because I think there's way, way, way too much matches and that you don't watch esports as you watch any other like sports. I think that when you have way too much matches, it gets very, very boring and very, very hard to follow and it's very easy to just ignore a match and just wait for the finals. Uh, and I think there's not a lot of stickiness to the matches. like. I get that a die-hard TSM fan will try to look at every single TSM match, but I'm saying that a guy that just likes esports and just want to see good League of Legends content is going to be a little bit uh, skeptical in terms of like he's going to see a lot of stuff. He's going to be he's going to be very like he's going to be like what the hell am I looking at? And there's going to be content on content on content, which is not necessarily bad. Rather having too much than too less, but we're still missing out on. An opportunity to build more stickiness and more interest into esports. I feel right now, it's like if you had all those display of cakes and dessert in front of you, well, you end up not really wanting what to choose, and like you have so much that, well, you just take this one and just take the, like you don't know what to pick really. Here we have like when you see the schedule of the esports, uh, the words you have so many matches that go from something like. 11 a.m. to like 8 p.m. and it's like insane how it does anyone can watch this so and again I, think, I don't think Riot wants you to watch every single match again they want you to pick one two team and follow and watch the big ones some matches have more hype than others which is normal but I'm saying that it's something that could be uh, that could be definitely fixed so this is it for me guys I want to hear what you have to say about uh, 
I, I want to hear what you have to say about this, about the infographic that Riot Game posted. I would post this on my website, zonopost.com, just so you guys can see it as well. And I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that League of Legends is moving in a good direction? Uh, what was your experience watching Words if you guys watched it? Uh, did you watch... How bad did you watch it? Like, do you watch every single match? Did you watch only the teams you wanted to? Did you just watch what whatever was up when you went on Twitch uh, on the Riot, uh, Riot Game stream, etc., uh, etc.? Et uh, and we will talk about this on another live because I think that there's a lot of change that has that needs to be done or that could be done to not only uh, make create more hype around the actual event but also to create more interest in esports. Uh, within like the next few years uh, and and yeah so thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this if you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook uh, and I'll see you for the next one cheers